Welcome to the PyDramble cluster video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Raspberry Pi clusters networking so that you can run an Ansible playbook that will set everything up for you for your PyDramble cluster running a Drupal 8 website. The first step that we followed in the previous video was to get the operating system for Raspbian uh, running on all these micro SD cards, and we got all of their IP addresses, and I also got their MAC addresses, and I mapped them. Uh, to their physical location. So for this top tramble, I'm calling that number one. It's going to be the load balancer. And I'm doing this this way so that I can kind of visualize the web request. It comes into the load balancer and it sends the request to one of these web servers and the web servers communicate with the database servers. So this top one is number one. This is number two, three, four, five. So this will be the balancer. These will be web servers one and two and database one and two. Uh, so I've mapped these MAC addresses to those physical locations. So the balancer is this first one, that's its MAC address. Uh, the web server is the second one, third one, fourth, and so on. Uh, so now that I know those things, I can go into the code that I have for the Raspberry Pi Dramble, and it has an example, a couple example files inside of the setup folder and then the networking folder. This is the first playbook that you'll run to set up all the networking on the Raspberry Pis. So if I look at the README, uh, this is the page on the Raspberry Pi Dramble's wiki, uh, but there's also a README included in this networking setup uh, folder. Uh, you can see that the first instruction is to copy example inventory to inventory. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this file and call the copy inventory. And then the second step is to copy example.vars.yaml to vars.yaml. So I'll do that as well. So now I have those two files. The inventory is going to tell Ansible where it can find these Raspberry Pis. So I remember um, it starts with 16 and goes to 20. So I'll do 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And then I can leave this the same. It's going to log in as the Raspberry Pi user, and I've already set up that SSH key so you don't have to enter a password to log into each Raspberry Pi. So I save this inventory file, and now Ansible communicate, can communicate with those Raspberry Pis. I can even test this by running the command. Let me make sure I'm in the right folder. Setup networking. And I can run the command ansible-i inventory-m ping, and what it's going to do is communicate with these Raspberry Pis, and I forgot to give it a target, so I'll say Ansible all, or I could say Ansible Pis to tell it to communicate with the Pis. So right now it's communicating with each of these Raspberry Pis and trying to see if it can reach them. And the first time you do this, it can take a little bit of time just to make sure it communicate with them all, but if you run it again, it's really fast. So I can, you can see that it's communicating successfully with all the Raspberry Pis, so I know my inventory is correct. The next step is to map these MAC addresses uh, to uh, what I want the IP addresses to be ultimately so that I can control them more easily. So inside of this vars.yaml file, I'm going to grab each of these MAC addresses. So I'm going to grab the web, the load balancer and put it right here. I can delete this so I don't have because I don't have that adapter. Uh, and then I'm going to grab the first web server, put it in here, grab the second web server, put it in here, and then the first database server, put it in here, and then the last database server it in here. Now I have these variables set up so that when I'm running this networking setup playbook with Ansible, it will know that if it, when it sees this network interface, which is on the first Raspberry Pi, this Raspberry Pi at the top, when it's going through this wired network, it's going to set this Raspberry Pi's IP address to 10.0.1.60. And then for the second one, it'll be .61.62. The reason I have these high numbers is because I know no other, no other devices on my network have that high of IP addresses, so it'll be safe to have, 
to use those IP addresses uh, and not, not mess up any other networking. For your own network, you want to make sure that the IP addresses that you use in this mapping uh, will actually work. And you'll want to use the same IP addresses in your general inventory later in, uh, in one of the future videos that I'll show you. So now that we have this set up, the next step is to run the playbook that sets up the networking. So inside of the same directory, I'm in the directory that has the networking set up. Uh, I'm in the setup slash networking directory. I'm going to run this main playbook using the inventory that we just defined. And it's going to run through a few tasks where it will set the IP addresses. Uh, first, it checks what the MAC address is on the Pi, then it, then it maps everything together. It sets up the DHCP, it sets up all the different options that we need. And once it sets us all up, we have to restart the pies so that they get the new IP addresses. So I'm going to run this command to restart them all. And this is basically telling Ansible to run the command shutdown-r now using the sudo user. So I'll run that. And you can see that the Raspberry Pis are all communicating. And now they've all shut down and they're going to restart. So now I'm going to make sure that their IP addresses, they used to be 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I'm going to make sure that the IP addresses are the correct ones for the rest of the setup, the ones that we defined here. So to do that, I'm going to go back into the main directory. And then I'm going to make sure that this inventory is correct. So now I'm back in the main Raspberry Pi Dramble directory. Uh, and it has a balancer under 60, web servers under these two. So I'm just going to ping these and make sure that we can see those IP addresses. So I'll say Ansible, all, ping, and I have to tell it inventory. And it's going to try pinging all these servers, and it looks like the IP addresses are correct. And if I also try uh, to log in to, or to ping 1.20, you'll see that it's not, no longer responding on that IP address. So at this point, all of my networking is set up, and, and I could even run commands uh, just on certain servers. So if I wanted to run a command just on the web servers, I can use these groups in this inventory file and it will run the command just on that one. So now we have the networking set up, and the next step will be to run a playbook that installs all the software that we need on these Raspberry Pis. In the next video, I'll show you how to do that, and then after that, I'll show you how we can get Drupal running on them.